This red soil is volcanic. It's very effective as a filter, and the lentil plants draw all these fertilizing elements from it. We don't use any chemical fertilizers. Just a few miles from these volcanic landscapes, we find a green that appears on our plates. Le puy en velay in the Haute-Loire region, is farming territory. Volcanic soils are perfect for growing a speciality of French cuisine. Green puy lentils. Look how pretty this landscape is. It's carpeted in green. It's magnificent. Look how even it is. I can spot a lentil crop from miles away. I always know a field of lentils when I see one. Jean-Francois Béraud is a puy lentil grower. He's very attentive to these plants with delicate flowers which produce legumes once a year. I look at the vegetative state of the crop. These lentil plants are healthy. You can see the first flowers starting to blossom, the first buds. In eight to ten days, we'll have the first pods starting to form. I like to visit my crops quite regularly to see how they're doing. Uh, you see these ladybirds, which have come to eat the lentil plants. Eaten since Paleolithic times in Central Asia, lentils were introduced into Europe by the Romans. Archaeological discoveries have shown that lentils were to be found in the Haute-Loire region during the Gallic era 2,000 years ago. This red soil is volcanic. It's very effective as a filter, and the lentil plants draw all these fertilizing elements from it. We don't use any chemical fertilizers. Consumers like that nowadays. We're really proud of the fact that we don't use any chemicals. My family has been growing lentils for generations. My grandfather grew lentils on this farm, then my father grew lentils, and now I'm growing lentils. I remember my grandfather talking about puy lentils as being something that was deeply rooted in him. I think he's passed his passion on because I am now an ardent champion of green lentils. Lentils are eaten all over the world, but this variety is only grown in France. It's the only pulse to have a protected designation of origin. When they're ripe, they have this distinctive marbling. They're usually smaller than other lentils, and they're a bluish-green color. The color comes from anthocyanin, which is the pigment found in blueberries or uh, black grapes. To check that it's ripe, we look at how dry it is. If it breaks when you bite it, that means it's ready to be picked. Once known as poor man's caviar, lentils are now like gold dust, so much so that top chefs fight over them. In Aliras, 35 kilometers from Le Puy, Chef Villibrin has no hesitation in showcasing them on his menu in his Michelin-starred restaurant. Hello, Philippe. Hello, Jean-François. How are you? I'm well, really well. I've brought you some first-rate lentils. Oh, the latest harvest. You cook them so well. 
Well, today we're going to make a summery dish, a lentil tart made from lentil flour with a lentil cream, a bit like a, a Normandy cream, something new. Short crust pastry made using lentil flour, a whipped cream made from more lentils. The chef is showcasing the legume in all its forms with his recipe. We're looking for something gourmet, something flavoursome and colourful. Green is the colour of nature. Green lentils bring the colour of the surrounding countryside to the plate. As a certain chef once said, cooking is at its best when it stays true to nature. This plate of food, on which green is the dominant colour, is a million miles from bistro fare. You can do a lot with lentils. You don't always have to pair them with salt pork. Lentils are inspiring ingredients for chefs because they are an exceptional product that's easy to work with and produces great flavors. They go really well with lots of other ingredients. We give them pride of place on our plates to showcase our region and our land. Thanks to this culinary gem, Le Puyon Valet has made a name for itself in places as far away as Japan. With over 20% of its land now protected, France has made huge efforts to preserve its natural habitats and biodiversity. Seen from the sky, green is still the predominant colour. <laughs> 